Sandy. Hello, Miss Sandy. Hi there. Okay, that's much better. So, are you able to see my screen yet? Um, no. What I, I have meeting viewer is up. It says showing your name, but um, my mouse is still work. Oh, are you seeing my? I see phase one of three. Great. So we're live now. <clears throat> okay. That's good. So. First of all, I wanted to show you, um, I sent a copy of this to, to Joe about the uh, program and what it's offered and that type of thing. So just to get you familiar with what we're doing, this is what I hope to accomplish with you over the next seven to ten days or so. And this is uh, phase one, which is basically getting set up and running. So okay. we have your Amazon sellers account up and running, and I think... I'm going to uh, log in there and make a couple of changes to uh, optimize your settings for best performance and then uh, consult on best practices for structuring a new company. That's not going to apply to you because we've already talked about that. We're using an existing corporation. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Creation of the company seller's name and logo. We've, we've got that. Uh, you actually have the logo now. I just emailed it to you a few minutes ago. And then uh, setting up a new email account, online-based customer service phone number. Uh, we've already accomplished that one uh, at Starbucks the other day. Okay. And uh, after we get your account optimized, this is what I want to work on tonight. And that's the uh, basic knowledge of finding product opportunities to promote on Amazon. So that's what we want to tackle. And this is going to be probably a, a two-call uh, type deal. And then once we identify the product, then we're going to we're going to help you select a product that best fits the promotion system. And then, of course, uh, my team in Asia will do the sourcing and packaging from various Chinese sources, depending on which product you decide. And then I'll uh, take care of the, the importation of your first order and uh, be able to set you up with the importer number and that type of thing. So just so you understand, this is phase one. This is what we're working on right now. And I actually, I shared this document with you through your email, so you'll be able to access it on your Google Drive. And then, okay. this is a spreadsheet uh, where we're going to track our progress as far as the products that we find and how those are going to stack up against other products so that we can sort them out as we go because... Like I told you, I'd like us to identify 10 opportunities, and we're, we're probably not going to identify 10 opportunities tonight, but hopefully we'll get two or three tonight, and then you'll be able to go out on your own using the information that I give you on tonight's call to identify several more. And we don't have to get 10, but 10 is a maximum. You know, if we get six or seven, I'm going to be happy because, like I said, we're going to narrow that down. We're going to have one main product, which is going to be what we're going to uh, try to promote and, and build your business around and then we'll have a number two a backup product just in case something happens with patent issues or trademarks or something like that because it can happen and then we'll have a backup plan we won't have to go through this mining process again so all right. first of all i want to uh, log into your system and change some of the settings in your amazon account so if you can uh, go to your team viewer and give me these numbers that allow remote control, I'm going to connect to you. Alright. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm typing. Okay, so the password, do you want the ID? Partner ID is 875-226-517. Okay. Um, that's actually mine. You just gave me that number. <laughs> You're looking at my screen, remember, so you'll need to go down here and open up Team Viewer in your computer. Okay, I apologize. It's okay, it's confusing. You forget that you're looking at my screen instead of yours. All right. Um, let, uh, do you want me to put it in then, since I have... No, you can't control my screen. All right, then it's 719. 
581-053. Okay, and then the password? Is 451-G like George, N like Nancy, Z like Zebra. Okay, <clears throat> now, see I'm pulling up your screen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I'm going to do, it's going to be a little bit confusing. It's going to be like looking in an endless mirror. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to go to your Amazon account. Make sure you're logged in. You won't need to know this, but this is where you're going to go to make changes to your business structure. Now, speaking of which, have you received the uh, debit card or credit card yet? No, I believe it's going to go to Joe. Okay. Because that's the address that we put on the account. So I'm hoping that when he does receive it, he'll, he'll let us know. And I check in with him every day. But whether he gets his mail every day, I'm not sure. Because I think he has, he may have someone get it for him, I'm not sure. See where I emailed you your new logo here? Oh, okay, got it. Oh, we're sales? Well, you can do whatever you want with it, but I wanted to get you oh, something. That looks great. It looks fine. I think we were, what did we, oh, that's just our password. This is just a logo people are going to see when, whenever you're, uh, when they're looking at your Amazon store. Okay. Do we need to put it somewhere now? Yeah, I'm going to do it for you right now. Oh, okay. Hopefully if I sized it right. There's a little bit of a lag on the clicking here, so that's why I'm going slow. Okay, so I'm logged into your account. I'm going to go over here to settings. And if you'll remember right, this is where you're going to go when you change the credit card you have on file. Okay, yeah. Info and policies. And I'm just going to find that file on your desktop where I just saved it and upload the file. Pretty simple. Okay. Now your logo is created. Now, I want to show you something. Uh, going back to my screen for a second. If you look in Amazon, let's look at, sorry. We'll just look at, let's see. Bamboo pillow. Now, if you go to, let's see, we're going to find something here that has multiple offers. And now, what I'm looking at. It's moving on my screen. My, my screen is still under the information policy. Okay. I got you. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay, good. Now we got it. Now, is the Amazon screen that shows the pillow product on top on your computer? Well, there's quite a few windows open right now. Okay. Um, you can I just the bamboo pillow, but it's behind. Um, it's it's up here twice actually. Okay. And it's behind a couple small windows, like the setting window is up is open like three times. Okay, I think. Uh, yeah, I just, I just walked in. Okay, good deal. So I have uh, I have my associate on the meeting now, so he should be able to see the screen. Are you Are you able to see the screen? All right. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm seeing it uh, jumping around here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, just trying to clean this up a little bit. I have too many things going at once here. Yeah, I understand that. 
So we're going to go up here to your info and policies, Sandy, and I'm going to change your shipping settings, and I'm going to show you why here in just a second. So when, when you're competing, uh, which you, you won't be competing on other products unless uh, unless you're you're in space that has you know more than one seller. But the reason why we do that is so that if you're if you're showing up, you want to show yours is going to have the price and it'll say free shipping next to it. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to use what's called price banded shipping. So we're going to edit your shipping and. You know what? It's not going to let me do that because you don't have a professional account yet. So we're not going to worry about that right now. Hey, can you make that screen the screen a little bigger? Uh, she's she's using a small netbook that's 11 inches, so that's all you're going to get, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandy, I'm logged out of your computer now, so you should just see my main screen with the uh, Phase One document. Uh, right now, I'm still in where we were trying to change the shipping and default shipping. Okay, we'll go down to the bottom of your screen and yeah. click click on the uh, the free screen sharing logo that has the little green dot. The key. Oh, yes, I see. All right. Okay. Now okay, and I'm back to the phase one outline. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to show you. What I was talking about. This is what you look at when you see when I search for bamboo pillows. So we're going to go into this product right here because it has multiple offers. I'm going to show you what, the reason why we're going to change your settings. If you look at right here, this area where it says thirty-five dollars and free shipping. Yeah. This is what people want to see. They want the shipping built into the price. See how this is twenty-eight ninety-five plus shipping. This one's free shipping. This one's eleven ninety nine. These folks here are kind of on the outside. They don't understand the value of free shipping. People want to know the total cost to their door. So we price everything based on what it costs to get it to you, not the price plus shipping. Do you want to go through here and do the math to see what deals better, or you just want to find the lowest price of free shipping? Right. I want it all inclusive. Okay, so when we get to that point, when we switch your account to professional, we can go in there and we'll do what's called price branded, sh price banded shipping, which is basically we're going to make everything free shipping based on whatever price it is. So all your all your listings will look like this guy right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So on this spreadsheet that I created, we're going to list the product, the price of the product. The main keyword that refers to that product, and then we're going to do the best seller ranking, like I was trying to show you a little bit the other day. And then we're also going to rank product two and product three. Because remember, our goal here is to get you on page one so that someone actually searches for your widget, they're going to find yours and buy it. So, all right, now I, I have a quick question. Okay. To interrupt, but when we have our first product, and then we're going to rank product two and product three, it's all on the same one product widget. Exactly. So for example, if the pillow was our product, okay, yeah. and our keyword is bamboo pillow, like you see right here, this is going to be product one, this will be product two, this will be product three. Okay. Because these are the guys that we're competing with. And we're going to look at things like this number right here that shows the product uh, sorry, product review. You're going to see all my uh, emails pop up. Sorry. And then this guy right here, uh, product reviews 494, those type of things. So let's dive right in. And I'm going to use one of my favorite tricks, like I was teaching the other night. We're going to do opposing brackets, which is going to be just above your return key on the right side of your keyboard. We're going to do a left bracket and a right bracket. And then we're going to search for those brackets. And the reason I'm doing this, we're gonna we're gonna start with number one best sellers because you know we want to sell a product that's already hot. I was just explaining this to someone else earlier today. We can invent new widgets if we want, or we can go discover products and then we can list them on Amazon and try to create a market. And the market is gonna be that segment of people who are searching for and buying your product. But how most people do it, they'll find a product first. 
and then they'll go and try to create a market and sell the product. Well, that's backwards. What I'm going to teach you how to do is find the market first. Find the, the proverbial hungry crowd, a product that's already selling, they're already actively searching for and already buying, and we're just going to give them an alternative for that, and we're going to compete in that category. So it might be toothbrushes, it might be hairspray, it may be rabbit's feet, it doesn't matter. The product is almost irrelevant if it fits <clears throat> if it fits the model that we're looking for here. All we're doing is looking for something that people are already buying, they're already searching for, and there's enough competition that makes it hot, but again, it's a, there's room for us to get in there and, and take a little market share. Does that make sense? Sure. So once we've searched for brackets, Amazon is sort of like an online department store. All these different departments will basically signify an aisle if you were to walk into Kohl's or Target. So let's pick something here that excites you from the, the areas that I know already sell well. And that's going to be either baby or uh, we'll do baby or let's see health and personal care home and kitchen industrial and scientific or patio lawn and garden or pet supplies so out of those six departments which one uh, suits your fancy I guess pet supplies all right, let's go look at pet supplies. So what we're going to do, if you look right here, see how it says pet supplies under the under the department? Yeah. We're still searching for brackets, opposing brackets left and right. Okay. And then I'm going to click on go, which I am recording this session. And as soon as it's edited, I will, I'll send you a link to the video online so that you can go through this all over again, okay? Okay, sure. All right, so what we're looking at here, within each category, pets being a category, these are going to be your subcategories. Dogs, cats, small animals, fish and aquatics, those type of things. And there's tons, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of them. So what we're looking at, if you see something that says number one bestseller, this is going to be the bestseller in the subcategory underneath the main category of pet. So what we're looking for right off is something that's quote unquote generic that we can we know that we can manufacture we're not going to manufacture a soft pet bedding or um, whatever this, this is some type of uh, pet medication or food something like that we're going to look for something like training pads something that we can manufacture hopefully it's a consumable item or something that, that needs to be replaced over time and we're just going to go scroll through here and see something that pops out so I can, thinking out loud here, I'm just going to tell you what what's coming to mind. Okay, so this is a de-shedding tool. So this is basically a, let me see here. It looks like it's probably branded, but to me this item fits, fits my model because it's small. It's lightweight. It's smaller than a loaf of bread, we'll say. And it's probably got a pretty good markup, but it looks to me, just from my experience, three to four dollars at the most. And you can see it's selling for fourteen ninety nine. It is a number one bestseller. So I'm going to do on your Mac that you have there. I'm doing it here, but on your own. If you hold the control button and click this, it'll say open link in new tab. That's what we want to do. So I just open this pet tool. It's a DAC Pets de shedding tool and pet grooming. To me, this is the keyword, de-shedding tool. Most people who know what they're doing are going to put the number one ranked keywords are going to be the first two or three words within the within the list or the uh, title. So de-shedding tool or pet grooming, these are these are high volume, high ranked keywords. Let's scroll on down here, and this is the number we're looking at. This is ranked number 28 in pet supplies. Okay? Okay. So using number 28 in pet supplies, you're going to go to here, fbatoolkit.com. You can see the, the URL. I'm going fast, but I am going to give you a link to this when we get finished so you can study it on your own. It was ranked number 28, so you find pet supplies right here. Yeah. Punch in number 28, and this is going to give you about half of what's really selling. 30-day average to sell 33 units a day. 
in the last day they've sold 20. So in my experience, because I have a lot of best sellers, this is about half right. In my experience, this is probably selling closer to 60 or 80 pieces a day. So you can do the math on that, what kind of numbers that is. This will give you an idea. Now, pet supplies, this category alone, probably has, let's see here. If we just search in pet supplies, oops, sorry, there wasn't it, sorry. It's going to tell you 697,993 items listed under pet supplies. I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's really not a lot. So number 26 in pet supplies with 700,000 total items is not going to be as well ranked as number 26 in toys and, and games that has maybe 14 million items. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. That's why each one of these are listed individually by... Uh, by category. So let's put 28 in toys and games, which is the biggest category, and it says you're going to sell 82 versus 33. So it's about three times as popular in that particular category if it was ranked 28 in toys and games. Yeah. That's to just get you to test drive a little bit. So let's, I'm not saying this is. Category two. I'm sorry, what was that? I like the toys category too. That would have been my next. Okay, choice. that's that's a really good category, and very competitive. But we'll we'll play around. I'm not saying this is your deal, but this is what we're going to look for. And this this product, when I pull it up again, and you'll see that there are 2,578 product reviews. That is not impossible, but it's definitely for what we're going to do for you is almost insurmountable early on unless you're very, very, very patient, which I am not. So it's the right size, it's the right sort of markup, and but the problem is there's too many product reviews. It would take us way too long to catch up with this guy. So what we're gonna do, if this is, if this is a product, for example, that you fall in love with, you can pursue this later on your own time, but right now we're looking for low hanging fruit. Make sense? Okay, yeah. All right. I understand. We're so, Exactly. So let's go and look at, I'm sorry, we're going to look at this one again. We're going to type in pet D shedding tool. Okay. Now look what we have. This is a bestseller, Ferminator, for $33. These, these are competition for, for this particular keyword. If we were going to put this on the spreadsheet, this would be product one. This will be product two, 4,422 reviews. And this will be product three, 232 reviews. We're not gonna do that product, but I'm just trying to show you what it is. All right, so here's a nice little tool. It's called Alibaba.com. This is where worldwide manufacturers will list their products for sale to buyers around the world. It's a good place to start. It's not a cure-all and like I said we're going to do the sourcing for you but when you're doing research on your own this is a good place to go and try to find out you know something that uh, like a, an idea of what the price might be for something like that so I'm going to type in here um, de-shedding tool there you go <coughs> there's de-shedding tool looks similar to some of the others it says 200 piece minimum order that's fine Here's a de-shedding tool, it's about a dollar to a dollar thirty-four. Here's a de-shedding tool, it's three to five dollars. This one here looks similar. Remember? Mm -hmm. This one? Similar and it's uh, between uh, two and a half dollars to eight dollars. So this will give you an idea of the market on something. Two fifty to three fifty, these are all US dollars. Oh, there's plenty. This one's going to be uh, about two bucks, it looks like. Um, this one's too high. Anyway, this is just a good tool for you to use when you're shopping. So let's say, worst case scenario, we're going to pay $3 for it. You see the mark up here, 15 33 This one's not too much, eight seventy seven, fourteen ninety nine. You get the idea. Yeah. All right, so... 
Let's go into pet supplies. We'll use yeah, my... That, that number two Furminator is what they use at the grooming shop. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. it's a well-known brand. Okay. That's why it was very expensive. It was like 35 Exactly. Well, that's what we're going to create for you. We're going to create an, a well-known online brand for you. All right, so nothing really sticks out here on page one, best sellers. Let's go to page two. And let's see here. This one's too cheap. We're looking for, remember, it's going to be something that's smaller than a loaf of bread, preferably smaller than your fist if you can get it that way. The sweet spot's going to be $18 to $22. We can make it work for as little as $7 or for as high as $35 to $40. But the sweet spot, $18 to $20. And then, of course, we need the markup. you got to have at least a four times markup on something. All right, so let me see here. Scrolling through fast. This one looks kind of interesting, but it's a little too big. Can you hear the kids crying in the background? Yeah, how old? Oh man, I got them all over the place. I got three of my own here and there's two or three neighbor kids. So. That's what happens when you work at home, I guess. Okay. Looking through this one here, it looks pretty cool. A chew toy, Kong Extreme. This, uh, I'm imagining this is about the size of your fist, maybe. And, um, and Kong is the number one brand. There you go. But this is something if someone if someone types in Kong Extreme Dog Toy or Kong Dog Toy Chew Toy, something like that, we can capitalize on those keywords. But here's what I'm looking at. They have 1,771 reviews. That's hard to compete with. Not impossible, but definitely hard. What about them doggy tennis balls? Doggy tennis balls. Where'd you yeah, see that? Were, scroll up a little bit. They were on this page. There was like three of them. In it. I don't see them. Scroll up. You don't see them? Maybe they were on page one. But they, no, I thought they were here. It's yeah, possible. there was like three of them. All right, let's look at them. So you're, you're going to see things totally different. Like these guys right here, that's too cheap. Right there. $3.50. That was a good eye. I mean, you're, you're thinking along. Oh, geez. Yeah, but they're cheap. Yeah. Bucks. Yeah, we, we need something that's $7 minimum. So keep scrolling here. You're not going to necessarily find something every time you do this. But this will give you an idea what to look for. Let's see here. Oh, let me show you another trick while I'm at it. UV flashlight urine detector. See, to me, that looks pretty nice. There's only one offer. It's twelve dollars, five hundred. I'd like to see this less than two hundred, but let's just go take a look. So I'm going to hold Control, click, open a new tab. Here it is. This is a dog urine detector. Okay, dog on pet products. It's uh, number 92 in pet supplies. Using that number, we can go in here and give us an idea. This is not science right here, this website that you're looking at. This is just a general idea. So from my experience, it's, it's 30 to 50 a day is what this is. Which is not bad for our first product. Okay. Another thing you like you like to see here is uh, when you're when you're looking at this product, scroll down and see it says customers who viewed this item also viewed. Here's other urine tools. It kind of does the work for you, so you can see what the what the top sellers are. Here's one with only 137 reviews. Here's one with 62 reviews, uh, 235, 277, 116. So this is this is definitely doable. Every one of these products is making money. So let's do a little research real quick. Black light urine detector. Okay. We're going to go to Amazon. Type in black. See black light urine detector? It's already popular. This is product one, product two, product three. Okay. They're all 15 bucks. 
Oh, just, okay, yeah. Just give me an idea real quick. I'm going to go and look at uh, what I call that a UV urine detector. Here we go. Boom. UV urine detector. 50 cents to $1.50. 230 to 589 One to five dollars. Two to nine, one to two. Looks to me it's viable. Do you agree? It looks to you like what? It looks like it's viable product to me. Viable, yeah, viable. So you agree it's viable? Yeah. So let's add this to your list. Here's what we're going to do. Number one, we're going to take this URL right here. Okay. This is your document, by the way. It's shared with you, so I'm going to paste that in right there. Oh, you pay, okay. And then we're going to take the price, which is $14.99. Keyword is urine, wait a minute, UV urine detector. All right, bestseller ranking. You're going to find that right here, number 92. You see where I got that? Right yeah, there? Yeah, I get it. Okay. 92. Ranking for product number two. This is going to be product number two, so let's go look at it. Oh, I forgot to do the reviews on the other one. Back up. 514 reviews on that one. So, reviews, 514. Alright. This one's got, let's see, 235 and 503. So, 235 and 503. This will make sense to you in a second. 235, 503. Okay. Now, ranking for product number two. This is this is what you're going to do in your spare time. Because like I said, you seen the tennis balls? That's something that I would have never seen. I mean, I probably passed it up because of the price, but it's just an idea. Thirteen seventy-seven on that one. You see where I got that, right? Yes, the ring. Oh. Sorry, that goes here. Keep going to the wrong one. Okay, and then here's product number three. These are really the only ones we have to worry about right in the beginning, and I'll explain to you why. This is rank number 162, bestseller rank. No, I missed that one. I didn't see the 162. I'll show you. Take the word for it. Right here. Rank number 162. You see that? Now, hold on. Something opened here. Okay, we'll close it. I'm trying, but I don't know how to do that. It says, Welcome to Kino. Kino? I don't know. Oh, Kino. Okay, go go to the bottom of your screen. Yeah. On your toolbar and find the keynote. It looks like a little podium. Yeah, I see it. Click down and hold it until a menu pops up and then go to quit or close. Oh, I see it. Okay, good. You get, you get rid of that? Yeah. Isn't that nice when you use a computer I'm familiar with? I can tell you how to do it. Yeah, that is nice to just be able to do that. Okay, so here's your here's your top three. We've listed them all. Look, they're all fourteen ninety seven. That tells me that the going going price here we're gonna do we're gonna have a fifteen dollar product. Okay. Okay, and then uh, this guy's trying to compete on price only at six ninety eight, but. I don't know. His pictures aren't all that great. There's 14, 13. To me, this product is viable. And I'll tell you, this guy right here is not using enough keywords in his title. Did over Number here. One guy. And let's see what this guy's got. This is the title like we're going to use. See all the keywords? I'm, yeah. I'm lagging behind you or something. I don't know. I did. Oh, there we go. It's just. Maybe it had to just refresh. So we got black light, flashlight, UV, urine detector, best, uh, yeah. ultra bright, stain finder, free, 
detect pet, dog, cat, rodent, urine, stains, car this guy, he, he uh, probably subscribes to the same school of thought that I subscribe to when it comes to promotions. He's got very detailed photos over here that show how the product works. Um, really generic packaging, I mean, that's something we can improve on. Uh, pet Seer, it's pretty decent. He's got, he's got a pretty decent description here. So this guy has done his homework. He's probably new. And what I like to do to get product ideas when you're looking at this guy's product and you see he's got a great headline, this guy is a player. Go right over yeah. here. He's see got what, a four-line headline there. Yeah, and like some of them you'll see, they'll allow you 250 characters, and we use 250. All right, so go here, sold by Pet Seer. Let's go see if he has any other products in his line. Nope, he's a one-product show right there. Okay. That's the only thing the guy sells, so he's making a living on this item. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go look at this guy's listing. Not as many keywords, but he does have some. And it's sold by Doggone Pet Products. Let's go look at his lineup. He sells two products. So he's got a number one bestseller. He's not doing it for his health. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this guy's got going on. Yeah. The top three guys are, are going to get 99.9% .9 of all the orders that show up for that keyword black light urine detector. And that's why they're the only ones you want to look at. He's also selling a sleep mask, which I have a product like this, and he's selling a premium cocktail shaker. You see all the price points right in the sweet spot, like I told you. Um, actually, I have this exact same item right here. That item, this item right here, he sells probably 200 of those every day. They cost a buck, and they sell for $13. So this guy knows what he's doing. Deluxe buys. Okay, so we've added our first product to our uh, to our list. Let's go yeah. back and see what else we have. Okay, we'll just scan through a couple more pages here of pet products, and then we'll try something else. There's okay. there's your Furminator for forty one bucks. You know that's good markup. Are you still with us, Chad? Yeah. Oh. I was hoping maybe extend on each other or something. Okay, good. Just want to make sure you're on there. So you and I were just having this conversation today. That's why if I need your feedback, I'll hunt it. He's uh, pretty well versed in this, so I'm, I'll am i probably have to uh, defer to him for a couple things here. But right now I'm in my comfort zone. Look at this cat litter scooper. This right here fits our model. It's number one bestseller. It's 13 bucks. It's got six offers, but look at all the reviews. This may be something like, let's say down the road you have three or four hot selling uh, pet products and you want to add something to that line, This that's when you would kick this off because you would promote that to your existing pet product customers and then you'll be able to compete without the reviews. But right now that's not impossible, but it's not well, low hanging fruit, if you will. Okay. All right, I'm going to look at this last page here, and then we're going to go on to another category. Okay, let's pick another category. Sports and outdoors, uh, patio, lawn and garden, home and kitchen, health and personal goods. This place is no good, right? I'm sorry, what did you say? Toys is no good. Uh, yeah, toys is good. Toys is good. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that, you know, I mean, we're getting now into the fall pretty soon, Christmas. The thing I don't like about toys for a, when you're a single product is because they're seasonal, which is good if you want to make money right now today, but in yeah. the long term, you know, that slows down after Christmas, but that's fine. Yeah. Now, we're in the toy baby thing too. We're in the baby thing, aren't we? Yep. The, the, the other problem with toys is a little bit is that the, most of those are really branded by big company names. So it's oh, kind right. of hard. It, it's like if you could get like a Lego and make something like a big block or something like that, but people are going to know Lego versus your generic brand. 
versus like that dog uh, pet grooming tool. They may not notice the brand so much, or that can be more widely accepted. But in toys, they're really heavily branded by specific toy companies that are usually really known. So it makes them a little bit harder to get into. Mm. This one sticks out to me a little bit, except for the fact that it may not be able to be shipped via FBA. And that's some pretty good insight, by the way, Chad. But these uh, Luma Stick brand glow sticks, glow sticks themselves are very, very cheap. So this may be something to look into. But let's just, uh, let me get rid of some of this other stuff. Okay. I'm going to open this up in a new tab and we'll check it out. I know it's small and lightweight. Uh, simple packaging. It's the number one bestseller. It's got 1,100 ratings, but that doesn't scare me as much because you know there's see there's 14 sellers here competing for this deal if you branded your own glow stick you could come in here and dominate this market and probably command a price of 11 or 12 maybe even 15 dollars and not have any competition let's see so here it's a uh, to put a, a, a package together like three or something you see those See the price for all three on the left is twenty one dollars. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. But that's that's down the road. Right now we need to get you one item going. See, there's five hundred seventy eight reviews on this, and the bestseller rank is nineteen. Okay. So go to toys here, type in nineteen, and you'll see that's my experience. You're gonna sell if you had a rank. If we're saying if you were ranked number nineteen. This is going to sell between 150 and 200 units per day. That may or may not be more than you want to bite off, but we'll just take a look here just in case. It's an 8 inch glow stick, 100 pieces. Let's just look and see what that cost. One, uh, wait a minute. 8 inch glow sticks. Here we go. Okay. Factory Direct, Promotional Novelties, 8 inch glow sticks, about 2 cents each. So 100 of them is going to be 20 cents. No, $2, right? So it's a $2 product selling for 9 bucks. That works. It's not the best, but it does work. Here they are at 3 to 5 cents a piece. Uh, 33 to 49 cents. So they're all over the place. 2 cents to a nickel. Uh, 17 to 30. So let's say, worst case scenario, if they're 10 cents a piece, it's going to cost you 10 bucks. You can't compete. Best case, if you buy them for two and a half cents, it costs you two dollars and fifty cents. Amazon's going to get about three fifty, so it's six. You may net two or three dollars per unit. So let's say if you net two dollars and you sell two hundred of them a day, that's four hundred dollars a day profit. But to me. I mean, that may be okay, but to me, it's too much work when there's other low-hanging fruit. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I think there's better options. Okay. Good. Let's go scroll on through here. I like to see something that's going to be higher. Higher dollar, like 12 15 maybe even $20. And if something's selling for $20, like, or $15, for example, I have product myself that we get $22, $23 out of, and everyone else is selling for $14 and $15, and we outsell them. Hmm. So just because everybody else is at $15, don't mean you need to be at $15 if you have a better product and better pictures and a better ranking. Okay. Believe me, it means a lot when you're searching for glow sticks and someone sees the number one bestseller. That's giving everyone and his brother social proof that that's a good product because everyone else is buying it. Okay. Hmm. Nothing's really jumping out and grabbing me here. Uh -huh. I don't know, maybe those girls had bands, but then... We're limited to uh, a demographic. 
you know, that's that's fine. Boy toys, but up at the top is a package of headbands, and those are about twenty bucks. Oh, right here. Okay. Let's see. Fashion headbands. Yeah. See? I blew right through that. I didn't even see it. See, there's 52 offers on that deal, which makes it great. There's only 359 reviews, so there's definitely room there. Let's take a look. That's what, what I love about this, is people see things totally different. <laughs> so, they're getting decorate 10 satin headbands. This is a do-it-yourself type of kit here. From my experience, just looking what you get here, this is probably $3 cost, $4 tops with the packaging. So I don't know how big it is, but oh yeah, this is this is three bucks, three bucks or less. Okay, we have 359 reviews, that's decent, and it's number 46 in Toys and Games. This is good. You want to add it to our list? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It caught my eye when we first went past it, you know. Okay. Just because we added it to the list don't mean it makes the cut. You understand that, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to eventually choose our, our product, but right. we're adding our options. Okay, this is going to be fashion headbands. Okay, we're going to type in make your own fashion headbands. And there's number one, number two product, only one review, so someone's jumping in on there. And here's, here's another product with five offers. Uh, here's one that looks kind of good. Alex Toys Dojo. Okay, yeah, I like it. Let's get the, let's get all the intel here. It's got uh, 359 reviews. And it is. I like the pricing range. Yeah. 46. 46. And it's got. Okay, and we'll get product number two. We have one customer review and ranked 100, 180,000, 188,26. They're not selling any. At 180,000 ranking, they may sell one every two weeks. That guy, but he may not know what he's doing. Okay. Number 700,000. Yeah, I'm not even going to put, I'm going to pretend like that one doesn't even exist because that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to go down here to this guy. Twelve ninety four. Twelve ninety four, thirteen reviews. Yeah, that was a little different. Number 
This ranking is 136,963. 136,963. So let's let's see what we've learned. When you look at make your own fashion headband, which is what those are, do-it-yourself kits, we have one that really stands out with the best seller ranking of 46. They're killing it. And the two or the three closest competitors are not even on the map. So this is probably, just from what I'm seeing, it's probably a brand-specific product, which is this one right here, fashion headband. Oh. Let's do a little cheat here real quick and see if customers buy this. They also they frequently uh, buy or look at this one. Yeah. So when you look at the first product that we put up there, we got 92, 1300, and 162. All three of those guys are making money. Only one of these guys is making money. And he's got 359 reviews. So this here, I mean, just from what we have now, the uh, the P detector light is better. I'm not saying you can't do the headband, but if I only had to choose out of those, I'd take the P light. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Uh, I would too because it's multi-use. I mean, your options are more wide open. Let's look at... Pick between health and personal, or patio and lawn, or home and kitchen. What about like, yeah, kitchen stuff. You know, we kitchen. were looking at the was last time, remember? Yep. Here we go. But I mean, we can, I mean, this is you know, kitchen. women are our major spenders, and they like kitchen gadgets. This is this is using using the brackets is only one way to mine for good products. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you another way as soon as we scroll through a few pages of this. Okay, silicone baking cups. There's only two offers. Let me just see what it is. Number thirteen hundred kitchen and dining. It's thirteen dollars. Set of twelve. Silicone baking cups. Nine to twelve cents a piece. Ten to fourteen. Say, so let's say worst case scenario, they're fifteen cents a piece. And you have twelve of them there, so you're looking at landed cost probably two bucks on these. They sell for thirteen. I mean, there's only forty-eight reviews. That would go on my list if I were you. So I've seen them. They're new. They're new. I've seen them out in the store. You know these bestseller lists. They they change all the time. So it's not like it's not going to be exactly the same tomorrow. So every time. This sells for. Oh, no. They're selling them. What is that? Two now from. Ten ninety nine. So if you buy two, you get a reduced rate. No, that just means there's more than one seller selling that. Oh, okay. See two new. If you click on this, it'll show you they're both sold by the same company. Uh -huh. I got to get the best seller rank here. Just as food for thought, let's go to kitchen. Somewhere in here. Type in 1396. You can do this for hours. So 10, so this is gonna sell, if, if, if your product was ranked 1396 in home and kitchen, you're probably gonna sell 20, 18 to 20 a day. That'd be a good product for you. If you can do 18 to 20 a day, you're going to make yourself two, 300 bucks a day in profit. And that's really what we're looking for to get you kicked off. Okay. So. 
1596. Now we're going to see we're going to see who all is ranked for silicone baking cups. Can't type tonight, sorry. Here we go. It's kitchen crafts, pack of 12. Whoo, man. That's too cheap. This is the one everyone's on. Look, there's 30, 30 people selling this product. And they're getting about four bucks out of it. No one's making money on that item right now. Mm. Let's see what this guy's doing. He's got it for uh, 12 bucks, but he's ranked. He's selling them. Not everybody wants a cheapo. So, we're going to call this guy right here number two. My, my four year old wants to join us. Just push on the door, honey. <laughs> All right, this one has, we have uh, 243 reviews, number 200. Dad? Yeah. What does this say? It says Peyton Manning. What does this say? I'm on a phone call, baby. This white one. Okay. Oh, my screen went black. Just move your mouse. So this is ninety. This is rank number one thousand twenty-nine. One thousand twenty-nine and twenty-eight reviews. She's fine. She's quiet. She's not fine. Everybody else is in bed. Ooh. Leave that open. It's hot in here. Twenty-nine reviews. This one had 28 reviews. Okay, so we have three products here, and you know, you can make this list 30 or 50 if you want. I'm probably not gonna go through 50 of them, but I'll go through 20 or 30 of them for you. And so what you wanna do, this is stored in your Google Drive. You can okay. go through here and just add to this. And as you add, okay. I'll continue to see it. So you don't actually have to email email it to me we're collaborating okay. on that and add to it so that's one way you can look for product here's another way let's just go and find something that that you like give me a name of a product sandy you mean it's not a brand name right just it can be what? whatever anything comes to mind that you well think? i've seen those um ice sticks they're slim they're like an icicle that goes